Expected after another draw on Saturday. In League One, it wasn't the best of weekends for the region's teams chasing the playoffs. Tom Williams rounds up the action. The look probably sums up how Roy Keane feels. Ten draws in 17 games. Try as they might, Town couldn't force away past Sheffield Wednesday's keeper. When it seemed they had, the Owls' defence just about scrambled it away. Ipswich now four points from safety, just Peterborough below. When you're at home and you keep a clean sheet, you'd expect to want to win the game. But as I said, we're certainly not scoring enough goals and uh, you know, we'll keep trying different combinations and uh, um, maybe see if there's a strikers you know, outside um, our club that may be available. Colchester were cruising when Coyote Odijay put them two up. The game's turning point, Mark Tierney's sending off a second yellow card for kicking the ball away. It gave Oldham a sniff, they took it, their equaliser two minutes from time. Dreadful conditions at St Mary's, but a cracking game. Best goal went to Southampton. David Connolly put them 2-1 up, but Stephen Hughes bundled in an equaliser 15 minutes from time. The Canaries unbeaten in six. I thought the game was too open. Two really good sides really going for it, and uh, I don't know if you'll see a better game all season, that's for sure. South End left it late, very late on Friday night. Innocuous looking foul. Lee Barnard's 94th minute penalty against MK Dons giving them a 2 1 win. The Shrimp is up to 11th. In the playoff race, the Dons drop below Norwich, who are a point behind Colchester. Tom Williams, BBC Look East. Now, it was another great children in need night on Friday, and you were at our big event, weren't you? I was. I have to say thank you so much to everybody who donated money this year, and an extra special thank you to all of you who came along to Millbrook Proving Ground in Bedfordshire for our big event. Here's just a taste of what went on behind the scenes. After months of planning, Children in Need Day comes like Christmas. The first gift is a pink wristband. Access all areas. It's the start of a long day for the team at Millbrook and the BBC and there's lots of pointing to be done. So now we know where the loos are. In a room the size of Lanzarote, an exhibition of cars, vintage stock from the GM Heritage Museum in Luton, a range of Aston Martins and novelty acts from the world of telly, Del Boy's three-wheeler, New York, London, Paris, Millbrook and Gene Hunt's wheels from ashes to ashes, shine up the quattro, Polly. The Look East crew started rigging at lunchtime hundreds of metres of cables to run. This camera would provide the illuminated wide shot we'd see after sunset. By lunchtime, the bands start to arrive. First on the scene, North Hants five-piece, Juliet the Sun. With potentially 2,000 people attending, the event team walk the course, talk about stewarding, security, crowd barriers, transport and communications. By five, hungry staff tuck in while they can. With the crowds in, last-minute rehearsals on the steering pad, the 40-part Vauxhall male voice choir take their place, but the challenge is to choreograph Julie Ranger's arrival on an old Bedford bus. All set then, everything with a place in its place. Thunderbirds are go, and Look East Children in Need 2009 is on the air. Now, one of the nice things about being here tonight is that we're here with Millbrook, with GM, and they've raised some money as well. What have you done and how much have you raised? We work here at Millbrook and the staff have raised £350 pounds for children in need. Oh, it was fantastic. And I have to say, the staff at Millbrook, well, you were brilliant. Thank you, thank you. It was great, actually, to see our top team in front of the camera as well. They worked so tirelessly behind the scenes. And also, can I just say a big hello to everybody I met on Friday on my travels, especially to the staff and children at the Luton and Dunstable Hospital. I think that's everybody. Oh, apart from the marshals who did all the parking and the, the moving on of the, the cars and vehicles, stood in the dark and the cold. Well done to you, too. 
So I think that's everybody. And there goes the rain. That was today. It's now out on the, the continent. So we're dry. That's how we start tonight with some clear spells. And then later in the night, sort of after midnight, cloud thickening up from the west. And that's likely to bring some further rain as we head towards dawn. Temperatures on the mild side for the time of year, 6 to 8 Celsius. And we see the winds easing for a time to a moderate to fresh southwesterly. But they'll be picking back up again tomorrow. The isobars close together and this weather the front moving through so we start off windy cloudy outbreaks of rain but by late morning most of the rain should have gone leaving us with a largely cloudy afternoon with a bit of brightness here and there and then uh, some more rain pushing in from the south tomorrow evening uh, evening initially quite light and patchy and that's when we're likely to see the winds picking up further still